Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. So today in this video, we will be discussing about the sales process. In this sales process, we will see how we will going to manage the customer relationship management, how we will going to deal with our products, how we will going to do its marketing. Then after doing its marketing, how we will going to store the response for the uh, persons who are interested in our product. Then next step, what we will going to take and what these things will going to known as in my sales force. Okay, what at different different steps in which object we will going to store them. So all these complete cycle we will going to see today. And after watching this video, uh, I am a bit sure that you will be able to understand the uh, objective of these different different uh, objects which we are using using in this sales force so let's take a look to the video and if you have any queries or any questions do let me know in the comment section okay so we will going to now discuss the sales process only the sales process means how we will going to manage our client relationships based on any product so let's suppose there is a product uh, product as pen is the product here okay so this is my product this is uh, it's since so we can say it's it is now completely this product is now completed and ready to move to the market it's time to sell this product and make aware people with this pen so uh, tell me what different points or what will be your flow how you will going to sell this pen to the customers anyone what will be our first step for this Do marketing for the okay. pen. Okay, marketing is the one. We will do the marketing of the product. Okay. Then. Campaigns. Okay, campaign is the one which comes under the marketing only. Okay, that is creation of banners, blogs, videos, anything. Okay, okay. Then we'll find the interested people. Mm. That means leads. Okay, this is the important point. Those who have responded me for this campaign will be the interested one. I collected their details. Okay, okay. will make the interested one to buy the product yeah. mm. we'll try to follow up them on the timely basis so they can yeah. buy our product okay and then let's suppose they now end up with buying this product okay now once you uh, buy any product what will be the next step you look for service okay so, yes we look for the feed uh, companies look for the feedback also like we provide service mm, yes company do provide services also if any issues any client is facing they provide services to them okay we end up with the providing services for one year two year and anything okay it can be extended one also so we usually start from the marketing okay then we get to know the number of people who are interested then we timely basis we use to take the follow-up and try to convert them to end up with buying our product if yes they now uh, our product is sell to them we used to again send them emails or anything notification to give us or respond with the feedback positive feedback or the ratings and then afterwards we used to provide them the services okay it can be extended of two years or three years anything so these are the mainly normal step which we used to follow in our day-to-day -day life and we used to buy any product okay so directly starting with the marketing what i want i want to know 
each and every detail of this product okay i want to know the product details what are its feature what it is functionality okay and how it can be useful to the customers i want to know the details and what number of stocks are available okay 10 pens or 20 pens limited pens or what will be their pricing how much price i need to sell to the customer so these things will be my first step to look over the product details once i have looked for the product details now the next thing is i will going to hire a sales team okay why sales team because this is the team who will going to do number of marketing by running the campaigns okay or adding the videos or vlogs anything all these comes under the ban or uh, this my campaigns running the campaign so i hire a sales team this sales team now uh, i had given the all the product details to them now their next step will be to do the marketing of this particular pen or the product once this marketing is done now there will be we going to get the response from the people or from the users so the response can be positive also and it can be negative also or uh, negative or non interested we can say okay there are the one those who are not interested in this product but there are the ones who are interested in this product okay so this the interested one will known as the prospects and this non interested one will known as the suspects okay but we have to do nothing with the one those who are not interested they are of no use we'll going to focus on the prospect those who are interested in our product okay so we'll get detail of all these prospects and these details will now be stored into the or known as the leads these are my leads those who are interested in my product once uh, this lead is done this lead will going to have all the information like their con contact information how i can contact to them using their phone emails okay and their personal information that is to which company they belongs to or they are individual all these details will be here in this leads when this leads is done and this is qualified it will going to convert into the account contact and the opportunities okay this is account is the company here to which this person belongs to it can be belongs to company also or it can be individual also okay that is why we have two different account in our salesforce also for now we are just uh, thinking about this company account so this will going to act as a company and this contact will going to act as a person to whom we will going to contact okay so this belongs this contact belong to this company that is to this account and this is the person to which we will going to contact related to the pen or the product which i want to sell okay now this uh, whenever this lead will going to qualify it will always convert into these three different uh, records that is account contact and opportunity opportunity is the one that now we, here we have different different steps when these steps will done it can be possibility client can end up to buy with this product or it can be possibility it will just run away and just do not buy our product okay not buying so it can be close won also or it can be close lost also there is the 50 50 possibility if this person end up with buying or with the close won that this opportunity is now won won means our product is now sell to the person once this opportunity is done or converted to the won then we will going to send him the quotes quotes are the one where all the details whatever the product he has buy will going to send them using the email or anything now once this court is done we'll going to create orders for them this is for the confirmation that these are the detail and these are the product we will going to you will going to purchase and now these are finally converted to the order order for whom for the company for this pen company this is now the order okay this person or this uh, candidate or this uh, people has number of people has buy this number of product it can be two pen three pen anything 
whatever the availability number of pens are available in the stock up to which he can purchase this product okay once this order is done now the invoice will be created so whenever you used to end up with buying any product invoice will be sent to you either over the text messages or you over the emails okay invoice is sent to you now after this invoice is sent to me uh, let's come to here okay finally my product is sell to the person and invoice we have sent to him so this part is completed here once the product is done we comes to the feedbacks okay we will going to take feedback after few days or after few months of uh, its use we'll going to ask how you are for feeling with our product and please share your feedbacks okay then if he has any queries or facing any issues all these issues will be considered as the cases now cases will come into the picture and as per the cases we will going to provide them the solutions now again the solutions will come here once all these things will be done to analytic all the sales process which we have done from product information to its solution will going to see all over this reports using this reports and dashboard we will going to see the complete process of the sales person how what number of product he has sell within this week so all these details we can see or capture using this reports and dashboard so this is how our sales process works in our sales force or this is how we used to connect with the customer and get all the details using this creating sales team sales teams are the users in our sales force okay because they are only going to do the marketing and all so sales teams or sales agents mainly refers to the users in our sales force marketing is done everything is done so this is complete is the sales process this is how we maintain our customer relationship in sales force and everything is done over the cloud only that is why this is sales force cloud crm okay now let's see here this is your complete sales force uh, sales process first thing is product details were gathered okay we will going to target market also like this will be useful for college student or for the working one or for the housewife anything we will going to decide the audience also here okay then we'll hire the sales team campaign will be run prospects are the one those who have given us the positive response then the leads will be generated according to it and once lead qualified it will be converted to account contact and opportunity here possibility can be closed lost or can be closed won if it is won then the quote will be sent to the customer that this is your product details then orders will be created once orders are done then the invoice will be created after creating the invoice my product is sell to the customer if in case he is facing any issue related to hardware or installation anything then the case will be generated according to it so these case will be related to this contacts only okay contact and account order that's this individual of this company is facing issue okay then accordingly solutions will be provided to them and to capture all this process we have reports and dashboards okay so let me uh, divide this into the different different clouds if we talk about product details to campaign this is comes under the marketing okay we gather all the product details we target the audience sales team is created and campaign are run so this comes all under the marketing now if we start from prospect to the invoices so this is the complete selling process okay uh, interested one leads contact opportunity this is completely the uh, selling process so we're going to consider or divide it into the sales okay and now these thing case and solution these are the thing which services we are providing to our customer okay so this come under the service and this is reports and dashboard is the one which comes under the reports and alert analytics so if you go through to the sales cloud sales cloud is the one 
this is the developer org if you will going to check here you will going to find all these uh, objects name lead is there account is there contact is there campaign is there dashboard all these objects will be available here in this sales cloud okay if you go through the marketing cloud then in that org you will not going to find court order invoices these objects will not be there you will only find the product details sales team campaigns all related to campaigns marketing target audience all these things you will going to find there no courts order or opportunities will be there and if you go for the service cloud also there only account contact and the cases you will going to find because the working of the service cloud is only to provide them the service nothing else and sales cloud is the one where we will going to maintain or follow the complete structure to sell our product so all these product comes under the sales cloud this is how we use different different clouds for different different purposes in our sales force